here in the biomedical engineering department at NGIT, we work on a lot of great things. I'm working on a project that develops assistive devices for people with muscular dystrophy, specifically people with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. We have a robot here that does a lot of great things. It's a reaching and grasping robot for people that don't have the ability to perform those functions with their arms. Unfortunately, with the population that I'm working with, because they have decreased musculature over time and decreased arm function, they're unable to effectively use these things. So what we're doing is we're designing an interface that will allow them to be able to control a robot like this. This is the Haptic Master. It's an emittance control robot, and it allows us to create artificial environments. Uh, for instance, it can create an environment in which the arm, when you're holding onto it, feels absolutely weightless, as though you were in a pool. And somebody with that decreased musculature, somebody with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, has so much more range of motion when they are supported against gravity, which is what this robot can do. So when they're holding on, they have that increased range of motion and then have the ability to drive this robot around and this robot can in turn do many things for them such as, you know, pick up a glass of water and bring it to their mouth, bring their food to them, open and close doors, pick up things that they've dropped, things that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do.